simple for the fishing here and today um, I've been seeing y'all commenting and talking about how you guys want to see some more snook fishing videos so um, it's a pretty rainy day today I figured might as well just go do a little quick snook session but this snook session is gonna be a pretty special one so in this video I'm gonna be throwing an NLBN K tail brand new product I got them a couple weeks ago in the mail on pre-order so uh, it's basically a little mullet with a kicking tail. I'm super stoked to try them out, see how they work for the snook. I bet you the snook are gonna be all over them, but I'm gonna bring my cousin Michael with me and try to get him on his first snook. He's never caught one. So yeah, I'll catch you guys when we get over to the spot. Hey, 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 look Watch who it is. Up. Ready to catch your first snook today? Hopefully. All righty. We have made it to the spot. Um, I saw a couple other fishermen down there, so hopefully they're not gonna be fishing the same ponds that we are. Michael's just quickly gonna get tied up, and real quick, I'll just show you guys what I'm using. So this is the this is the five inch NLBN K-tail. It's basically just a little mullet with a kicking tail. I cannot wait to use this. I've been waiting like over a year for them to drop these. They've been showing little sneak peeks of them and whatnot, but they take a 5.0 BKK hook, just like the little mullets do. And there's also a bigger size seven inch. I didn't bring those because we're just going to be fishing for like, you know, snook in that 20 to 30 inch range. I mean, they take a 10 on hook. I have to get some of those to throw the, the bigger one. But once Michael gets all tied up real quick, I think he's going to be throwing a whopper plopper, correct? Yeah, he's going to be using the Berkeley Chapo in the bone color. Uh, that's a Chapo 90, right? Yes. Yeah, Chapo 90. So everything that we're using, his setup and my setup will be left in the description down below and hopefully we can get on some snook and Michael can catch his first. All righty, let's see what the K-tail has in store for us. Real quick, I'm gonna see the action of this. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, yeah. They're gonna, they are gonna smoke that Dad thing. Killer. They're gonna smoke that thing, bro. Dude, that's gonna get smacked. Like, close to the edge like that. They'll chase it up and hit it. Yeah. Yep, just take the edges. Look at that big headway cast to it, Michael. See that big headway right there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Quickly, quickly. Start making that thing go crazy. Oh, yeah. Yep. Ooh. Headway just went out right here. I have never came here before and seen anybody else fishing at the same time as me. And so good. far, these are the third group of people we saw. Yeah, like we, this is like four or five people so far we've seen. Look at that, all those fish right there. No, no, that's definitely not a pleco right there. Nice tarpon just rolled. Any luck? Oh yeah, I thought y'all looked familiar, one of y'all. Yeah, I've seen you yeah, at the canal before. Yeah, yeah. Y'all catching anything here today? No. You Fishing the k -tail? How you get the k -tail? Yeah, pre-order, bro. Oh, but I just haven't had any more. Yeah. I've been following you, you on YouTube. Yeah. Wind knot. So the... Of course I got a wind knot right now. Yeah. I don't know what is going on. 
All right, guys, I just had to retie because I just got a giant wind knot. Now my spool's looking a little low. I'm gonna have to get a re-spooled ASAP because I'm, I'm hoping I still cast at least somewhat as far as I normally can. There are freaking tarpon going everywhere, dude. Like, Maybe I am destined to catch a tarpon before. So bro, there's tarpon like feeding everywhere right now. I have not even got bit yet, bro. That's crazy. Oh look, there's a school of sheep's head there's and tilapia. Oh yeah, there's sheep's head everywhere. I think one of those is a redfish right there. Black drum, black drum, black drum. That's what they are. They're black drum. Dude, look at all this black drum. Tarpon, tarpon, tarpon. I really like these K-tails. I just, I wish, NLBN, if you guys are listening to this by any chance, Please, please make a three and a half or a four inch K-tail. I think me and everyone else would love it. Nice, finally, dude. Finally, decent little snook here. Oh, that's a large mouth. That's a large mouth. First fish on the K-tail is a large mouth? Who would have known? It's not a horrible largemouth. Look at that guy. Not bad. Gotta find our snook though. That's what these baits are made to catch. I see a lot of people catching largemouth on them though too. That's actually a pretty good largemouth, man. Not bad at all. Nice dark Florida largemouth. Probably about a two and a half pounder. He's pretty, pretty thick. On the NLBN K-tail right there, guys. That's awesome. I'm gonna snap a quick pick since he's on the K tail and get him back. First fish on the NLBN K tail right there, guys. Happens to be a largemouth. I'm really hoping it's getting dark. I'm really hoping we can get the first snook on this bait before we gotta head out. And Michael's gotta catch his first snook. And right as uh, I'm taking a photo with this fish, um, some fish started just going off. So hopefully we can get our snook all right whenever you're ready buddy there he goes oh, look at that look at that oh god oh dude that was my snook that was my snook bro look at that look at that maybe these snook are gonna be a little bit more. Oh, oh oh yeah there you go there you go there you go is that a largemouth or a snook? I don't know yet. Oh, it's a nice largey. Oh, dude, no! I had to hammer down on my drag. Bro, that freaking largemouth was like five pounds. I know, exactly. I was just thinking that. I don't think he'd be up in here, though. Oh, dude, that was a tarpon. Little, tarp, little tarpon just hit me right there. Ooh, just got hit right there. There we go. That's gotta be a snook. Yep, nice little snook there. Nice one too. Ooh, yeah, he's fighting hard. First real fish on the K-tail other than a large mouth, right before dark too. It's like a 27, bro. He's nice. 26, maybe. Yeah. Oh, he's like, bro, he's like 28. He's like 28, bro. Yeah, he's like 28, bro. That's a really good one. Maybe 27, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Nice snook right there, guys. Nice snook, probably 27, possibly a 28 incher. Just smoked the freaking K-tail. That is awesome, he's super fired up. This might be the same fish that swiped it twice, but he was hitting it really lightly. And he just whacked it right there though. I'm gonna snap a quick pick and get him back. Alrighty guys, nice snook. Just freaking crushed that K-tail right there. Awesome. Whoa, Michael just tied up. Um, there's snook starting to pop all over the place. I'm gonna get a good release on this guy. I think it's time to take these glasses off. All right, let's revive him. 
It's a nice snook. Oh, he's ready. There he goes. Hey, fish bump on that, bro. I think you're gonna catch your first snook here in a few. Snook frayed me up pretty good, so. I'm gonna retie. We'll probably fish till, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes at most past dark. And then call it a day. I just really want Michael to catch his first snook. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Cast, 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 cast. Nice snook, dude. That was bigger than the one I just caught. Dude, I was just reeling it up to get it over the weeds. Dude, there he is. He freaking whacked it, bro. Oh, he's on you. He's on you. Slow it, slow it, slow it. Oh, there you go. You got it. Snook. Is that a largemouth? Is that a largemouth? Oh, dude, that's a largemouth. You got to be kidding me. Big largemouth. Big oh largemouth. Big largemouth. Oh, nice. <laughs> on the, what is that, Berkeley swim bait? Cole Shad. Cole Shad Berkeley? Yeah. Nice. Check that out, guys. Michael with a nice largemouth out here snook fishing. Well, you can catch that one. I'm gonna see if we can double up real quick because there was like three or four of them. Dude, I know, I know as a fact what I hooked was a snook. I'm gonna say fully, like three and a half. I was just gonna say, um, I'm gonna guess. Let me feel them. Oh, solid, bro. Three, three and a, three and a quarter. Uh, between three and three and a quarter. Between three and three and a quarter. Right. Official weight. Oh, hey, you're closer. Ah, nice. Enough. Almost yeah. uh, like, what's that like? Almost three and three quarters, bro. That's almost a four pounder. It's like a three eleven. You want a photo? Michael with a nice almost four pounder right there. Awesome. Let's get a release on him. Oh, he's turning back around to you. He wants to bite your finger. What is he doing? Oh, there he goes. Awesome. That is a weird release, but that is awesome, bro. Yeah, Let's get on some more um, right here at last light. Let me ask you, you know what you're doing for your 21st yet or no? No clue. My guess would be something to do with fishing. Probably, like every year. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I might just go to a pub. I'm just not to a pub. I might just go to talk off and get drunk. <laughs> Maybe I will. Oh, what's that? What's that? That's a snook. Oh no, largemouth. He was kind of like v lining like a snook for a second. Oh, decent, decent largey here. Little chunker munker. It's really dark, guys. You guys can barely see it, but probably about a good two and a half. Maybe two and a quarter pound largemouth right there on the uh, K-tail. It's really dark for the GoPro to see and I don't have my headlight. So we're probably just gonna pretty much head out um, once we walk another like 100 feet or so. Alrighty, here we have it. Nice large mouth right there on the K-tail. Wish you guys could see it a little bit better, but nice. Let's get him back. See ya, buddy. Alrighty guys, uh, I guess since it's pretty much dark now, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this video. Alrighty guys, um, nice session today. Caught one snook, which was pretty crazy. I'm guessing the snook were pretty pressured since there were like three other groups of people fishing here. Super nuts, because I've never even seen anybody else fishing here out of all the times I've ever fished here, but still awesome session, throwing the NLBN K-tail for the very first time. Uh, got these guys on pre-order a couple weeks ago. I don't even think they've been released yet. Caught one good snook that was about 27, 28 inches and then two nice bass. And then Michael caught almost a four pounder, super awesome. Then lost one that was probably like a five. Still hasn't got his first snook yet, but we will definitely be out again soon, won't we, Michael? Yeah. And yeah, and uh, he'll catch his first snook really soon. Hopefully I can get that on camera too, so. Um, but until next time, y'all stay safe, keep fishing and tight lines. I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Simple Florida Fishing.